ready for questions yet, cool your jets. <laughs> Stop like talking it. about stupid shit up here. Okay, cool. So we do have sound. And try this one out. I don't know. You can figure it out. You're my uh, So yeah, I came on board. It was awesome because I've been watching it since I had a root canal when I was a kid. And my brother was like, we're watching Dragon Ball Z. And I go, what? And he goes, we're watching it. And we watched like a half a season. And I was like, what, are they going to fight? And I was addicted. And the answer was nope. And yelling. <laughs> you, 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 the you fight know. happens in, episode, in season three. <laughs> you, you, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You, what? You want to know what I was watching when I was a kid? Yeah, you were watching like the, the Cell Android Saga. Cell saga. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he idolizes me. It's like embarrassing. It's the whole night he's been oh, gazing like at me like this. Smelling. He smells. I smell like pine. A like pine forest. Like pine. Like pine and success. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I don't smell like that. <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was really cool, and, and uh, I, was, I was honestly slightly sad that I didn't get to fight uh, anybody but Beerus in the first movie, and then the fact that I got to fight Goku and Vegeta in the second one was just about the height of my career. Yeah. Just being able to fight Goku and Vegeta. I would love to fight you. I would love to fight you. <laughs> I've been telling him since I was... Oh, God. It did. So I've been going to cons since I was young, and I went and got his yes, autograph at cons. Someone has to! <laughs> Damien! Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. Whatever, I like Kyle, and I like Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh. No, no, it's great. No, I, I'm... Come on. How long so is when it I was now? playing trunks when I used to play the old games, because Final Flash could just, like, decimate everything. <laughs> Uh, it was a triangle thing. You had to do that all the time. It was, it was great. What else? Fusion uh, dance. Fusion dance. It was great. Great. Thing. No, wait, wait. no, I like. I, I always liked Future Trunks. I don't know. There's something about it. it was, no, and, and we've been over this. Like, and it, I think a part of it was because it was like it was like a Terminator thing. It was coming back from the future to save and like. And I was that age, and so, like, he was the one I had, and I had the same haircut, which did you're not look good, but so it was the old 90s. Right now, dude. You're making me feel so old right now, not even that young, you're like 33, and I oh, feel like I'm 60 now. 31, but you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not that much, I couldn't have, like, I can't be your dad, I'm not that old. Please? Am I your dad? <laughs> Ask your mom, I don't know. Eric, what do you think about it? What do you think about it, her, her mom? What? Seriously? What, ha what, what happened? Dragon Ball Z, how'd you get your start? Oh, this is a good story. <laughs> Dragon so Ball Z, it. how did I get my start? Yep. Oh! I was working on a fishing boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was acting, and I got an audition, and they said, play this role, and I said, okay. And then 16 years later, I'm sitting here. <laughs> You're welcome for that riveting, riveting story. That's kind, that's kind of it. <coughs> Josh. I screwed up my microphone. Josh! <laughs> What's up, y'all? Boo! Boo! <laughs> yeah, that's all I gotta do. Just boo! <laughs> Uh, how I got started, I got started doing a comedy troupe, like Damien was talking about, uh, Mike McFarlane and Chris Rager and I were in a comedy troupe together, and I was doing, uh, one of the characters I did was the Pillsbury Homeboy. Funny, <laughs> funny man. Uh, back Can you do a bit of that right now, or do you need backup? <laughs> Could be. Uh, so, uh, the... Basically, backstory is Pillsbury Doughboy gets jumped by the Keebler Elves on his way home one day <laughs> after school. And that was the final straw that broke the camel's back and turned him into a gangster rapping Doughboy. 
Muffin says loving like the blocks I be puffing. Check one two. Yeah. Check one two. I'm from the bakery. Right up the block, Pillsbury getting funky with what's in the pot. <laughs> Which begat Majin Buu? I miss, I miss that. I miss those days. So good. Uh, Damien! Who's oh, next? What? Just say my name really loudly. Damien! Oh my god. <laughs> Eric got me. It's Eric's fault. Oh Eric. He used to have a different last name too. It was Noah's Vale. I'm just gonna say that. Um, Eric Vale got yeah. me into Dragon Ball Z. We did a film together and he was like, you sound like an evil green monster, you should audition for some. And uh, that was pretty much yes. it that. It's, it's true! <laughs> it's literally, he said that. Uh, yeah. No. What, what, is this it? Are we tapped out now? Are these the, all the good things that we have to say? Is this, are we just, there's one girl on her phone right now texting her mom. That's how, that's how enthralled she is in what we have to say right now. How is your mom, by the way? Tell her I said what's up. <laughs> She'll know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kyle? How red is your face getting right now? Can you feel it turning red? <laughs> come on, come on one stage. <laughs> so Kyle, Kyle Abear. How did you get into Dragon Ball? Kyle TV. Oh, I was telling these people before I got into Dragon Ball Z. I was a fan first, watching it before Toonami, uh, and then I was a DJ on Radio Disney from '96 to 2005. You were just DJing a strip club in Dallas for a while too, weren't you? In a strip club? I thought about it. Yeah, it's, it's good money. Close. It's, it's good close. money. Yeah. At the fair. Yeah. Did you Almost. really? Honestly, is that Almost. true? I applied. Did you really? And then I changed my mind. <laughs> this wasn't at the same time as Radio Disney. Can you imagine being a strip club DJ? That would be fucking awesome. I just want to point out, going up in Dallas, I heard about the fair when I was a kid, and it's like a, it's a circus-themed strip club. The thing that he was going to audition to be in is a circus-themed strip club. Think about it! Go there. Right, so... I was only working part time and then not getting by, so I thought, all right, I'll work in a club. I don't really want to do this sort of thing, but I will. And then I ended up just telling them no. They call the next night, going, "Where are you? You're supposed to be here." And I, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not supposed to be there. So then, fast forward. I forget when this was. This is later. After I get hired by the Walt Disney Company, I'm working on the air with Kara Edwards doing a team show. She is the voice of Videl and Goten. We both hear about auditions at Funimation through uh, some people at our promotions department because they wanted to say, what is the biggest thing on TV right now? We want to give away things to the kids. So we went in an audition, August of 2000, and eventually I uh, got hired for bit parts on the Bardock special was the first thing I was heard on and then uh, I took over, uh, I took the team Gohan thing that started a couple months after that. In which you did a fine job, sir. Thank you. Thank yes. you. <laughs> That's right. Now you can you can applaud that. Don't be don't be weird about it. Like I think everybody should give that up. You know what I mean? You in the white shirt, especially, because you're you just been phoning. You know who I'm talking about. You've been phoning it in since you got here. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, it, you were it just is... about to say something. What was it? Q&A. How much time do we have? That's a good question. Uh, it's listed to last till 11. That's not going to happen, though. <laughs> There's I no mean, way. If we signed and talked We've to We've been you. signing all in day. Like, how do we go to 11? That's, that's, we're, not, we're not Terminators. I, I don't know. I'm a Terminator. I would have Terminated. No, I'd scare. He keeps going. Do you want to open it up? Do you want to open this shit up? Because there's a lot of people here, so maybe we should do that. Is there a microphone that people can use, or do they want to just chip, chip, belt chip, their chip. stuff out? We got one right here, another mic. 
Check, check. All right, it's a question and answer time. These guys don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay. <laughs> question time. Who's got the first question? You, you speak. Like Stand you... up and scream. Raise your hand. He's coming to you with a microphone. Oh, yeah. There you are. Check one, two. Hi. Uh, I'm sure you're not you. Apparently, I totally screwed that up. <laughs> We're so just gonna hand this guy a mic. We're ready for anything at this point. Uh, I I'm sure some of you guys get this a lot, but uh, thoughts on Team Four Star in their Ridge series? Uh, they're they're great. They're nice guys. It's hilarious. Yeah, Next question. Guys. Nice guys. He like you. They're funny. I just did a convention. Oh, we gotta give it to her. I just, stars I just hung out with those guys in Connecticut. What was the best part about yeah, Dragon Ball Z? What? What was the best part about y'all acting in Dragon Ball Z? Cha-ching! <laughs> <laughs> right? Can everyone agree? So All right, yeah. I got to... 